1992, uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed uh, made the pioneering decision to uh, to bring horses to Dubai. A lot of people raised their eyebrows over it and uh, questions were asked, but um, I think we now know uh, where we are now in 2018, uh, what the benefits are. Um, you know, horses have thrived um, like people have and, and like Dubai has um, over the last uh, you know, decade or so or more. Um, it's just great for, for us all to be here um, and, and, and for us bringing the horses here. Uh, I think we've all seen the, the benefits from that. Horses that travel to Dubai uh, and winter here, um, you see the, the benefits from it um, in respects to just that, that they physically do very well, mentally they just relax. You know, the surroundings that we have here and the facilities we have uh, here in Marmoon, no horse can't but just do well here because, uh, like I say, the, 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 the sporting facilities they, that we use and uh, it's a very relaxing climate and uh, it's, uh, it's a good place to be in. Facilities here in Marmoon are, are, are very different compared to what we see back in Newmarket, Molten Paddocks. Uh, here we have an oval uh, dirt track, uh, nine furlongs round, and then we have a turf track on the outer course. Both on the flat, both flat tracks. So whereas back in England, uh, we you know, predominantly were trained up a hill. So you know, horses, they do enjoy coming out here and, and, and having the change of you know, style of training. So that's why, you know, bar, you know we, have, we bring the carnival horses out here uh, to, to run. And then we'll, you know, we'll hand pick a, a team of horses that will just come here to winter, which we will decide during the course of, of you know, going into sort of October, November, which horses we're going to bring here uh, and which horses are going to most importantly benefit from coming here. Uh, Marmoon has a capacity for uh, 65 horses. Uh, we generally have about 40, 45 horses here for the carnival and between 10 and 15 horses here uh, just to winter. So uh, you know, the winter horses will generally come out a little bit later than the carnival horses and then they'll probably ship back a little bit later, hopefully all being well, shipping straight into one of the uh, British classics. Massa was a horse that uh, you know, we all know now, the winner of the uh, Investec Derby. Uh, he wintered here last year and um, he, uh, his horse that we, we saw develop throughout the winter he was an, always an exciting two-year-old and, and we were always looking forward to his three-year-old career but uh, physically he did very well. Obviously he, uh, he shipped straight into uh, Newmarket uh, from Dubai just a few days before the Craven uh, where we saw that very uh, impressive victory there. Uh, and then he went on to be placed in the Guineas and uh, thankfully there Ron uh, went and uh, won the, uh, say the Investec Derby. The Massar is not the only horse to have uh, wintered here and done well as we all know but uh, you know, here, from here at Marmoon, you know, Blue Point was a horse that wintered here as well. Uh, he came back and uh, won the Group 1 King Stand. Uh, you know, Hawkbill's always wintered here from the days of uh, you know, his two-year-old career. Uh, he's been a very prolific winner for us. Um, and Jungle Cat, who's uh, now retired now, he, had, uh, he always enjoyed every winter out here. He's a, becoming a bit of a veteran, but uh, it was great to see him uh, finish off uh, winning a, a Group 1 in Australia there in the Sarupa Clark. We hope that we've brought some uh, classic uh, contenders uh, here again this winter. Um, Korto, who's a son of Dubawi, um, he's uh, repeated what his father did there uh, as a two-year-old in uh, being unbeaten in three starts and on his final start winning the, the Group 1 National Stakes. I don't have much spare time in Dubai. <laughs> Um, with the travelling, I commute uh, from Dubai to, to Europe well, on a weekly basis. Um, obviously, cl closer to the World Cup, uh, we spend a bit more time here. Um, my family come out here and uh, they enjoy to, the, the usual you know, facilities that we have here. It's very sport to have in uh, you know, being close to the beach and, and the pool, so uh, they enjoy themselves there. Um, but uh, I'm uh, thankfully I'm out here in Marmoon with the horses, which I enjoy, and then. Uh, back to England, back to Moulton Paddocks to, to go and see the, uh, hopefully the horses for the future in the, the yearlings are there now uh, in December and um, you know, like I say, then they turn two in January. That's always a very exciting time for us.